I'm Menachem Lairfield, and this is Dear Rabbi, where we answer your questions about Judaism. This week on Dear Rabbi, can or should Jews drive Volkswagens or other German-made vehicles? So I like how you asked can and should, because honestly, that would have been my answer had you asked either one. Certainly a Jew is allowed to buy a German car. There's nothing in halacha or Jewish law or anything else that would forbid buying a German car. But with that said, there is definitely a sensitivity about not supporting those who try to exterminate and kill off every single Jewish person in the world, man, woman, and child. With that said, if you're going to boycott those who hate us as a people, then just be consistent. Obviously, the German cars and car manufacturers were the worst. You have... Auto Union, which is the parent company of Audi, which just recently admitted that they use thousands of concentration camp inmates um, to produce their cars. You have really all the German car companies, it seems. You know, BMW used slave labor in support of the Nazi war effort by making aircrafts and motorcycles, as did Volkswagen and Daimler and Mercedes parent company Benz. You know, Ferdinand Porsche was a famous German engineer, and he was actually a Nazi party member. And aside from founding a car company that makes really pretty cars, he also invented the Volkswagen Beetle specifically on orders from Hitler. So certainly the German car companies have a very dark anti-Semitic past. But even looking here in America, I mean, the Ford, Henry Ford was one of the most famous and vile anti-Semites that has ever lived. He bought a newspaper specifically for the purpose of being able to disseminate all across America vicious anti-Semitic literature, which he did at a time where it was difficult to spread information or misinformation way before, you know, the fake news era of social media that we have today. He went out of his way and spent so much money just to spread anti-Semitic propaganda. The founders of Adidas and Puma, who, by the way, were brothers, were both members of the Nazi party. Fashion designer Hugo Boss was an active member of the Nazi party. He made uniforms for the SS and for Hitler Youth. And yet, I know lots of people who would never dream of owning or driving a Mercedes Benz, but they're wearing Hugo Boss. You're wearing the same clothing company that made the uniforms for the Nazis. IBM, the computer company, allegedly provided extensive support to the Nazis in Germany for 12 years. Now, IBM spokespeople have said, well, you know, their German operations came under control of the Nazis prior and during the war, so it wasn't really their fault. My point is, if you're looking for companies with dark pasts of anti-Semitism, unfortunately, there are a lot of companies that are on that list. You don't even have to look to people's past. You can look to their current present. There are companies that are have signed on to the BDS movement to boycott, divest, and sanction Israel, and that have refused to acknowledge Israel's right to exist. The list is quite large. So personally, if you're asking me the question about what I personally will do, I am not comfortable driving a German car. I'm not comfortable driving a Ford car. And if I have a choice to get Ben and Jerry's ice cream where I know that they are outspoken about how much they hate Israel and how they don't support Israel's right to exist, or I can eat any other ice cream company in the world, I would much prefer to eat the haagen than eat a company and support a company that I know, even if they're owned by Jews, don't believe Israel has the right to exist. I personally choose to support companies that, as far as I know, don't have a history of trying to kill my ancestors, and don't want my homeland to be wiped off the face of the earth. But again, that is a personal choice. I don't think there's anything in Judaism that says that one cannot support those companies. But if I can use an Apple computer and eat my haagen ice cream in my American or Japanese-made car, but that again is just my personal preference. And again, I think it's a sensitivity that either people have or they don't. I am in no way making a judgment about those who are sitting right now listening to this podcast in their German cars. I get it. It was a long time ago. There's lots of considerations that go into buying a vehicle. 
I'm not making any judgments at all. I'm just sharing my two cents about what I personally feel when I personally would do. If that does upset you, then why not express that upset as a question and submit it at jydenver.com slash dearrabbi, where you can submit any question you have about Judaism, and we can answer it right here on Dear Rabbi. Don't forget to submit those questions, subscribe so you don't miss an episode, and share this with your friends.